Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Regan. Thanks for tuning back into our channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about this newly revealed Hot Toys figure. After the announcement of Green Goblin, they are finally announced the second villain of Spider-Man. This is none other than the Dr. Octopus aka Doc Ock from the No Way Home movie, also seen in the early Spider-Man movies. Yes, finally. A lot of collectors for sure are going to be excited but before we start if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so you'll be notified once i upload a new high quality video just like this so without further ado let's dive in so i got another opportunity to take a video of this new figure of hot toys doc Ock. from the hot toy secret base shop i was so surprised how good this figure looked well, I was already excited when they announced about this figure. I was certain that it was going to be excellent. However, it still is different as compared to seeing the actual figure. When I saw its coat, I almost okay, drooled. Before we jump in, I just want you to know that this one has two versions, regular and deluxe versions. The deluxe one has the extra set of tentacles with the nanotech into it. The price difference is not really big. I think you can easily decide to get it or not. But I would say it's not really a must to have to get this deluxe. I think the regular version is enough. However, I'm not sure if we could use the tentacles as a stand without the base just like in the video. It would be nice if that happens meaning the tentacles are durable or strong. The details look good. The weathering is really nice. Paint applications are fantastic. It also has 5 pieces extra interchangeable hands for more passable poses. It has the usual hexagon base with the nice print. The good thing is it is not too big thus it can save space. Let's move on to his suit. It is another amazing costume made by Hot Toys. Very neat tailoring. I would say it looks very accurate from the movie. Especially the shiny pleather long jacket with zipper. I am hoping it will last long. It also has a wire incinerator so that you could really create some nice style for his jacket or for his coat. The inner suit looks good especially since it's gas, the mechanical belt where the tentacles are attached. I love the overall look of the costume. I think we just need to add some extra weathering effects then it will be great, right? Lastly, the head scalp, I would say it is absolutely a masterpiece. When I saw the promo pictures, I kind of hesitated to say that Hot Toys did a great but after seeing this with my own eyes wow amazing well the details are really good if you actually look at it closely you could really tell the resemblance to actor Alfred Molina in an older version and it is, is spot on however there is some off angle in this head scalp particularly in the mouth and hair scope, I think that probably can be something only collectors might notice. But from my eyes, it is almost 95 to 99% accurate. I think if we remove his eyeglasses, we probably will see the big difference I was talking about. Anyway, this is just a prototype so we aren't sure if Hot Toys is going to change it or improve on it that we have to wait upon until next year, right? I think that's about it. That's all I could say for now and it's ready for pre-order. The price for regular version is 2,000 Hong Kong dollars or around 250 US dollars and the deluxe version will be 2,230 Hong Kong dollars or around 280 US dollars. So you can see it's 200 difference additional for an extra tentacle. So it's up to you to decide which one is better. Well, I ordered the deluxe version so at least I could show you once I received mine and you can decide later. But if you think that you might gonna accidentally break the tentacles, then the deluxe version would be a better choice, right? And that's gonna be next year, okay? So wait for it when I unbox that one. So let me know your thoughts on this figure. Feel free to comment down below in the comment section. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching. Until then, see you in the next one. Peace.